What up, guys? This is Chris. This is Wheelhouse Trading, and welcome to the Wheelhouse. So I wanted to kind of go through um, some of the safest ways to invest for a longer term. Um, remember, you never hold forever. The reason why is because uh, the market phases and the cycles, and there's just a lot of damage and stress that takes place when, when you know, that fourth market phase takes place, and it always does. It can take years to get there, which is, means that it's going through the accumulation, the participation, and the distribution. Then that fourth phase can, you know, can come down for two, two and a half, three years. I mean, that's just natural. Okay, I want to show you a way to buy and sell with a longer term perspective in mind. Okay, so I have created, uh, just now I went through a, a ton of, of charts and um, I had created this, this thing called the Daily Blue Ribbon, uh, just so I could keep it in there. Now, the way that I like to do this is I like to find these things that have pretty much all, I'm not even on the daily, so let's go there real quick. Um, if you notice, you know, as I click through these, you notice that I'm on the daily and there's a blue ribbon, right? And it goes all the way down, even on these red ones, even on the red ones, there's there's a blue ribbon. There's even Tesla. Um, now there's a um, semiconductor one. This is a Keysight Technologies, um, Umbrella Inc. I mean, I went through them all, okay? A whole bunch of them, and I got a whole list of them here. Now, <clears throat> obviously, the the money spot, if you're going to do this, is to do it when it first goes blue, okay? Because if you notice on this one, well, this has been blue the whole time since the beginning, before ribbons were even created for this chart, because they don't start on day one. So it, it essentially was bullish from day one at $11.23, and it's at $58, so it's at up 500%. And it did have a little red right there, I guess, for uh, October 15th through, so for three days it had a, a red. But I mean, that's a pretty savage drop too. But essentially 500% if you never really sold. Um, at some point, this thing's going to come up and it's going to flatten off and it's going to come down. And, you know, obviously this hasn't been around for, for that long. So essentially, you know, it's still in uh, probably the participation phase of this, uh, which can go on for a lot longer, and then it'll top out, and then it'll come down. That's that's okay. Right now, this isn't a hot sector. This particular stock, it's called Zim Transportation, um, or sorry, Zim Integrated Shipping Services, but it's in the transportation uh, space. Okay, so what you do is obviously uh, we use you know everything from volume to trend to the indicators, the probability, but essentially you're looking to enter in the safest way when the blue ribbon first turns blue. So this one's been blue for a long time. Should you get in? It doesn't mean that you can't get in. You're obviously trending up. You're just a little late to the party if you want to catch the whole move. So let's go find you one or two or three that have just started. So here's one that I've been recommending since here on the channel, Quest Diagnostics, okay? And, you know, it, it was about two days, maybe three days at the most of the blue ribbon when I started talking about it. And there we go. They tend to go for a long time. That's why I was trying to explain that to you guys. Now, here's another one. And I was talking to you guys about this before it went blue. As it crossed the 200, it went blue and had a trend reversal. And, you know, I'm in it. I'm in an alert. I'm in it. Um, and they have a great dividend. It's a, it's a good one to have as a long term. Um, but the what I'm getting at is the goal is to get it right when it is above the 200 and right when, uh, you know, those ribbons go blue. Another one that just went this week is Caterpillar. Um, if you notice, it just went above the 200 and it just went blue right there uh, on December 28th. Today is December 29th. Who loves you, baby? All right, so look, all joking aside, this is what you want to do if you want more of a long-term perspective and you don't want to be trading in and out. The first thing you have to know is the health of the market on the indexes and the health of the stock. And the way to tell the health of the stock is by the trend. Well, the blue ribbons and the purple 
200 EMA show that the trend is going up. You all, you don't want to be like trying to go long when the ribbon is red. Okay, every time I do that, I get burned. You know, I mean, you can catch these and trade them, yeah, but holding for a while, it's it's going to be tricky. Um, it's never because you're in a downtrend essentially. So you're fighting the tide. Yes, you can trade these swings. Absolutely, you can trade them, and you know you can get a little bit more advanced with that. But um, you know, you can even do it under the 200. You can do all kinds of stuff. But if you're, you know, I'm trying to focus on the people that are, you know, interested in a longer term hold, um, and they have a conviction in stock. Maybe they have jobs they can't uh, trade all the time. Um, this this kind of person, people people that want to hold, you know, and watch their investment mature. And there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever, you know. So the goal is to know that you always have this right here. And here's another one. This is the same thing right here. It's the exact same thing. This is currently and this is years ago. Okay. Now this happens on every chart. Okay. And when it happens, because it's the fourth phase, it goes down, it looks just like that. And when you cross that 200 and then you cross that previous swing base, that's the correct time to start to accumulate and jump in. Okay, the ribbon got you in even a little earlier because the momentum and volume on the stock at the time. Now, you go through the phases and when you come down, it goes below the 200, just like it did here. And when it comes up, you cross the 200 and then you, once you cross that base, now we've already crossed the 200, we've got the blue ribbon, just like we had the blue ribbon early over here, except this time we're, we're above the 200 when it happened, but we haven't crossed the base, okay? When we get to this base, it's gonna be called a breakout and it's also gonna be an area where you're gonna see the stock launch because it, it brings in an extra level of safety and security that we are truly in an uptrend and that you have the blanket and safety of this blue ribbon underneath you that is protecting and guiding your stock investment to go up, okay? So um, what I like to do, because maybe I'm a little impatient and I don't like to wait for like, you know, 20 months or something, even though you essentially could, you could, you know, obviously it's gone up over time. I mean, essentially if you bought right here at 119 and you sold down here when it went red, at 217, I mean, you made a hundred bucks a share, but and you didn't even have to trade. You just have to enter correctly, choose your stock properly, and um, have some patience. That's all you got to do. Um, that's that's certainly a way to do it. But you do need to get out when it gets to a red ribbon. You can't hold forever. You have to get out right there, okay? And then you can go short, but you have to get out of your long. Take that hundred dollars profit, put it all aside. And yeah, if you wanted to go short on that stock, you could, but you know, you, there's mil not millions, but there's thousands of stocks out there that you can select um, to go long, you know, even though this one's coming down. Uh, you know, we were, we were in a big bull run and there's many companies that came down in that run like Sam Boston Beer or uh, Roku or Beyond Meat. So, you know, even not everything goes up, most will go up, but some are gonna have their fourth phase during that cycle. And then sometimes when everything else is going down, the majority of things are going down, those ones might come up, you know? It's just, but they all have the phases and you have to understand that trading with the trend and having this 200 underneath you and the ribbon underneath you brings in a huge layer of safety, okay? Big, big, um, probability of um, keeping your investment safe, okay? Now, um, if you uh, if you were to enter here, um, you could essentially uh, stay in this whole time, but what you could do, if you wanted to trade a little bit, you were a little bit impatient like me, then what you could do is you select your stock and you see that it's red and you're waiting, you're waiting, you're waiting, and you know, four days, five days, six days, seven days, and boom, it goes blue. And I'll show you one that's about to do it. It's called Facebook. And I've been waiting for a little while. I've been waiting since over in here. And it's taken a little while. But look, it got above the 200. Had a double breakout. I don't like that the momentum has come back to this line. It was up today. Um, but look, that red is about to go blue tomorrow or today when I post this. Um, so 
What does that mean? That means that you're in an uptrend now. Right now you're still in a downtrend because the ribbons are red, but as soon as that tip goes, game on. I might add another 100 shares of Facebook on top of what I already have because I'll scale in on that security. You know, now that I'm in an uptrend, it's very hard to make it go red and it's very hard to make it go blue, especially on the daily. So if you've selected a stock like I have, Facebook, or Caterpillar, or Johnson & Johnson, or uh, Visa's another one that's about to turn, like Visa's about to turn, um, uh, Caterpillar just turned, FedEx just turned, that's why I have these stocks. This is why I have them, because I like the safety. Quest Diagnostics just turned recently, okay? Zim, uh, you know, we one of the Jedis got, got us into this somewhere in between. It wasn't a perfect entry, but it was a good entry, and, and um, I, I like the stock a lot, so that's why I keep talking about it. Okay, so let's go back to Facebook. Okay. So let's say you watch this video today and you say, well, I like Facebook. I mean, it, it makes money and it's, it's a mega cap and, you know, I feel pretty safe. And if Chris says, hey, the 200 is beneath me and the 50, or excuse me, um, uh, the, the ribbon is blue and it's beneath me uh, and I'm in the cloud. And, you know, just so you know, these ribbons, it's the bottom one here is the 50 and it goes 50, 45, 40. 35, 30, 25, 20, 21, and then I have a 20 on there, which is the purple one, um, just as like a safeguard, like a warning shot that we're going to enter the ribbons. Um, and a lot of times they wick you down. That's for a different video, or maybe we talk about it later. So anyways, you've selected a stock Facebook. You understand that being in the trend adds a layer of safety and um, you know, having the 200 under you and the ribbons blue, it's, it's a lot safer to be in. So let's say you see this video and you're like, well, I like what I'm hearing. I'm going to go ahead and grab some Facebook for myself. And I'm not saying to do that. That's just what I did. I actually did it over here. <laughs> and then I, I didn't get out and I bought more off the 200, I think. Where did I do it? Oh no. Okay. So I got it. It was around 313 is where I got it right in here somewhere. And then I was in the cloud and then it failed. Yeah, I think I bought it here and it failed and I went to negative and then I, I, it crept back up and I'm back to positive. So now what I want to do is I want to actually average up. I want to add a little bit more if this gets a little blue tip because I know I'm in an uptrend and I like Facebook and I'm already committed and I like it. And I, I think it could go to $430. Well, that's a $90 gain from where it's at. So let's say you decide you get it, but maybe maybe you're you know you don't like these you know four or five days where it, it drops from three sixty nine all the way down to three forty seven. I mean it's kind of kind of a lot, you know. You're you're talking about thirteen. What is that? Twenty like twenty two dollars? It's you know twenty two hundred bucks for every hundred shares. It, it's it's a lot to deal with, and then you got to climb back up, and you don't even get back up until you know. Two, two weeks later, so maybe maybe you want to skip some of this stuff. Well, let me teach you a way or two that you can do that. So one, once you select the stock and you understand that I kind of want to be in longer term and I kind of want to enter right when it goes blue so I get the whole move like Wall Street does, then, you know, there's two ways to, to, to approach it. One is you enter on the ribbon for safety and you sell when the cloud goes red. Okay, we've discussed that many times. Uh, and then as long as the ribbons are below you and the 200 is below you, you can re-enter on the cloud, sell on the cloud. Below you, below you, re-enter, sell when it goes red. It's still blue under you. It's still under you, buy in, sell, okay? You do that the whole way and you skip all these little down days. You let the cloud be your guide, okay? Now, the other way to do it, and this way is really cool, I like doing it a lot this way, is you buy in on the daily, on the ribbon, okay? Right here, right when this goes blue, today. We should do it, if, if we have a green day, this is gonna go blue today. So, what I like to do is come over here and move it to the one hour. And what I like to do is 
is, you know, let's say this is the day and it looks just like this and tomorrow's a green day and it goes blue on the daily. Well, if it goes blue on the daily, this is not going to go red on the hourly, uh, most likely. And what I'll do is I'll just, when I buy it, I'll just exit when the ribbon on the hourly goes red. Now, why do I do that? Okay, so it's kind of like using the cloud on the daily, but the ribbon lags more than the cloud. The cloud is tighter, okay, but the daily is longer. So there can be a lot of downward pressure to break a cloud on a daily, and there, there is a similar amount of pressure to break a cloud on it or break a ribbon on an hourly as there is um, to break a cloud on a daily. So what I've figured out and I've been doing is you can, you can basically buy in on the blue ribbon perfectly right here or right here, and then you can sell on the cloud if you want, or you can stay in the ribbon if you want. That's fine if that's what you want to do. Or you can buy in here, and then you can come over to this, and you can just stay in until it turns red. Now let me just show you why it's, it's pretty cool. You can make a lot of money doing this. Okay, let's just take an example. This is the hourly, and right here, it was at $318. These are all hours, every single candlestick. 318, and you didn't sell until right here. 334, okay. so. You, what is that, uh, $26. That's a $26 gain by just following the ribbon on the hourly. And if the ribbon is blue on the daily, then you're in an overall uptrend. So anytime that you trade clouds and ribbons on lower time frames, your success rate is higher because you're in an overall uptrend, even though you're, you're microscoped, you're, you're inside of the smaller time frames, working within the, the smaller trends, you know, this is going on, but it didn't change. It, even though it's red here, it stayed blue on the daily as an example. You'll notice that'll happen all the time. Um, you know, it's not until you get something that goes red on the hourly for a long, long time that it can break the, the ribbon on the daily. So, that's kind of what I wanted to explain. Um, so if you know Johnson & Johnson, let's go look at another one. So you know Johnson & Johnson is above the 200, it's in the blue cloud, and the ribbon is going, and it's making money, okay? Now, it hasn't probably made a ton of money since since you entered, but it's, it's, it's probably about 165 to 172, so call it $7. And if you were doing it on the cloud, you'd be up $12, okay, if you did that on the daily, because the cloud you're in before. But remember, there's a level of risk under the 200, and you don't have the ribbons. But there are multiple ways to do it. I'm just explaining that to you. Now, on Johnson & Johnson, let's say you, you got in uh, today. Let's just say you got in today at 172. You back it down to the hourly, and you make sure that you're in a blue cloud or and blue ribbon. Uh, blue ribbon, not blue cloud, sorry. The blue ribbon uh, is, is what I'm looking for. So you're good on the daily, you're good on the hourly, and this is below you on the hourly. You're moving up, you're, you have the overall protection of the longer trend on the longer time frame. And now what you do is you just buy in at that 172 because you're, you have the protection of the bigger time frame. And then if you want to trade in and out, you could just stay in until this, this ribbon goes red. Now, let's just take a look. The last time that it did it over here, this is the new time, you would have bought in right over here at 158, call it 159. Let's just round up to 159. And you didn't sell. You didn't sell in the cloud. You didn't do any of that kind of stuff. You just sold right here when it went red at 168. Sorry, I think my mouse moved. Once What's going on with that? Weird. Not touching it. Okay. One, 168, round it to 169, 159. It's a $10 move on the hourly. How many days did it take? So we did that on December 3rd, and we got out on December 17th. So two weeks, okay? 
almost three trading weeks though, but but two like real regular type weeks. Now, the reason I'm showing you this is because not everybody wants to scalp on a cloud. Not everybody wants to VWAP intraday, you know, intraday. Not everybody wants to, you know, be a breakout trader. So, you know, there are people that work. There are people that have children. There are people that can't sit in front of a computer with multiple screens going on all the time on different time frames. This is your method. You, you choose your stocks, okay, and your portfolio will always go up if the stocks that you pick are going up in the trend, especially on the daily. So let's just take a look and you, you use a little common sense here and tell me or tell yourself, ask yourself, whatever you want to do, if, if you think that purchasing a stock when it's on the daily and the ribbon is blue, if your portfolio would go green. So you have this one, Zim. It's in a blue ribbon, which means that you're trending up. Okay, you got some chop, but overall you're going up, right? That's the thing. Okay, this one, DRN. If you invested in DRN when it went blue over here, you know, at 1060, even if you got out right here at 2307, you made 100%. Then you get to compound your money and put it right back in at twenty three eighty two, and you're already up another seven dollars, six dollars and fifty cents or seven bucks somewhere like that. So, yeah, big time, right? Okay. Now let's look at another one. Here, same thing. You, you like this one? You get in right here. Call it thirty seven fifty and fifty seven thirty five. Okay. So. What did I say? 37? So that's what? 13 plus 7 is 20. Call it 20 bucks a share, you know? And remember, you got out here, so you get to take all your principal, all your profit, and then add those back into the new shares over here, and you get more shares uh, at, at, without going through all this damage, you know? It's really good. Okay, let's look at this one. UTSL just went blue recently. Um, this is above the 200. Uh, it's a it's a um, triple leverage utility play. It's a defensive play. It's not not probably that popular. Um, it, it's becoming popular because a lot of people are investing in defensive plays right now. But the bottom line is it's in an uptrend. Okay, and it's safe because it has the protection of that layer of protection of the ribbon and the the EMA below you. Um, NEE, Next Era Energy. It's in an uptrend. Okay, the 200s below you. So what I'm trying to show you is if you select stocks and you're patient and you wait for that ribbon to go blue on the daily, which signifies that you're in an uptrend, do you think that if your portfolio was loaded with things that were in an uptrend, and all you had to do is sit and wait. Do you think that you're you're gonna lose money if you have a rule to sell when the ribbon goes red on the hourly, on a smaller time frame, or you sell on the cloud when it goes red up here before it goes red on the ribbon? The answer is no. You're going to make money. How much money? Is up to the market. It's up to the stock and what sector it's in. Uh, but it doesn't really matter so much um, about like the sector and the stock in this particular way that I'm going to say. The rule is get in when it goes blue. The rule is get out when it goes blue. You can do that on the daily, and you can you can do it on the daily, or you can you know exit on the hourly. That's fine. That's your rule in and out. So what's going to make you more money? is picking the leader of the hot sector and running it because the, the trajectory of the trend is gonna, gonna go bonkers. It's gonna go bananas for you Ver versus something like this one. Well, that's maybe not the best example because it looks like it's heading up pretty good. Here's, here's another one. Let's see if this one, oh, no. Yeah, when they get in that blue ribbon, baby, they go. So look, if you were to buy this one, like the mutual funds love this one, $31, $31.50 we'll call it. And you're you're in, and it's eighty one dollars. You've almost done two hundred percent. You're you're at like one hundred and seventy five percent, relatively roughly, without me having you do the math. One hundred and seventy five percent on your money 
by just knowing I wanted this stock. This always happens. Here's my blue ribbon. It shows trend and I didn't do anything except put the money in and sit tight and go do whatever it is I want to do in my life. And just every day I check it. Did the ribbon go red? Nope. Did the ribbon go red? Nope. It didn't do it for like a year. And then it did a little bit and you just got out and then you bought back in and you're in again. So do you think that your portfolio value will go up if everything that you choose uh, is has a blue ribbon on the daily? The answer is, to my knowledge, yes. So when I'm doing a lot of simulations right now, I'm doing simulations on the minutes, I'm doing them on the hours, I'm doing them on the four hour, I'm doing them on the daily. I'm doing things like buying on the blue ribbon on the daily, selling on the red ribbon on the hourly. I'm doing things like getting rid of everything on the chart and only buying on the cloud on the daily and selling when it goes red on the daily. I'm doing um, uh, lots of things where that are higher risk where I buy in on the minute on the blue ribbon and I hope that it will get to uh, the five minute, 15 minute, 30 minute hour and that's a higher risk and they don't all make it but once they do make it to the daily, then what I'm doing is I'm, I'm, I'm backing it in half on how I sell. So if it's a daily, I'll back it to an eight hour. If it goes bearish on an eight hour, I'll sell. If, it, if it's um, an eight hour, I'll sell it on a four hour as an example. If it's a four hour, I'll sell it on a two hour. So I'm doing all kinds of tests and it seems like every single one of them work. And the reason they work is because it's just simply common sense. You know, like everything is about the trend. And the strongest trend is the blue ribbon with the EMA 200 below you in an uptrend. And it's also a very strong trend when you're in the red ribbon. Okay? I got to go find some. Look, red ribbon. You see that red ribbon? You just go short. So let's say you went short right here at 109 bucks. Well, it's at 47. You've made 100% going backwards on the red ribbon. Here's another one. Red ribbon, another one, red ribbon. You know, you, you do the same thing. If you went short just right here on Ocugen, you know, you, you got under the 200 at 731, and it's at, it's at 483. I mean, you're, it's like 80% already. You know, God, here's, here's the one where you would have made a fortune. Alibaba, let's say you bought in right here at uh, 263. Well, it's at 122, so what, you know it's well over 100%. Probably, probably call it 130%. I don't know, a lot. <clears throat> Very good. So, using the ribbons to your advantage on the daily is really good. And I want to, I want to tell you something. There's going to be a lot of tricks along the way, and I, I've fallen for them. But I'm going to tell you, you don't need to. So, let me give you an example. Um, actually, we can start here. We can we can start as an example on the red. So let's say we're talking about shorting. Okay. So let's say you you, you go short right here at the the one twelve price, and you you know you're listening to me, and I'm like, hey, you, you know, you really don't have to you know you don't have to sell till the ribbon goes blue if you short when the ribbon goes red. Hey, if it's a very short amount of time and it goes blue, get out. But most of the time on the daily, uh, in a very, very, very high percentage, in the like upper 90 percentile percentage, when it goes red on the, on the daily, it's going to go red for a long time, okay? So as you can see, this one was 112 bucks. It's now $37. Well, what I mean by tricks is this. When you're in this, even though these are purple candles and these are blue and these are purple, there's going to be a lot of movement in between here and you're going to get nervous. You're going to be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't, I mean, I'm, I, it, it just went up $4. Yeah, but the overall trend is going down. And if you're just patient and you just trust that the ribbon is going down, you can see the price action, even though it fights, it just goes down and down and down because it has the pressure of the red ribbon. Okay, whereas the opposite way, if you're going long, if you're going long, you have, <clears throat> you have the protection, okay, instead of the pressure, you have the protection of the blue ribbon under you. 
So, and this this is the same thing that you can do on all time frames. So, for instance, I'm doing a lot of ribbon to ribbon trading on the on the one hour. It's super basic. In fact, today, the day that I'm filming this video, there was uh, almost seven entries where blue ribbons uh, started. The very tips of them started on the one hour. All kinds of stocks. Um, I can show you a few. Um, uh, I know one was, oh, well, Neo was one. Neo was one. Look at this. We're on the one hour. See up here? There's the blue ribbon on the one hour. Okay. SoFi was another one. Boom. Okay. I think Roku actually was one. Yep. Look. Okay. On the one hour. Um, I don't know if Palantir got one. It did. Look right there. It's starting one. So that's what I'm saying. If you, if, if you know that, you know, even on the one hour, um, even on the one hour time frame. There's really good trades going on if you just enter using the blue ribbon and exiting on the blue ribbon. So like on this one, uh, it was $249 you bought in and you got out in here somewhere at $345. So man, you made like 100 bucks a share, $100 a share by just using the hourly blue ribbon. And then when it went red, if you went short right here, at 345, you got out over here at 336, you made another 11 bucks. <coughs> okay, and if you went short here at 342 and you got out right, right over here at 315, you made another, I can't remember what I said, what did I say, 342? So what is that? 25, 26, 27 dollars. Okay, still under the 200, which guides you and lets you know it's probably going to come down, especially when it's rejected. So then you take this trade at 315 and you don't get out until over in here at 282. Okay, just call that 33 bucks, which is right around there. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. Like you can make money going down on the ribbon and you can make money going up in the ribbon and you can use the hourly, which keeps you safe on day to day momentum. Okay, because what happens at the beginning of the day might be different at the end of the day. But on the hourly, you're going to be able to navigate in and out of this stuff really good, you know. So I'm going to end it there. Um, I hope this made sense. Uh, this is a really good way, a safe way, and an easy way to do things. And honestly, it just makes sense. And remember what I said, if you choose your stocks and they're all blue ribbons on the daily with the 200 below the ribbons and the price action is above the, the ribbons. So both of those are below you and it's blue. You could stay in and you have the protection of the blue ribbon and the 200. And that is serious protection because those EMAs are where algos will protect and institutions have bought and will protect their investment. So when I say protection, I mean protection. Now, if you're under the red ribbon and under the 200, I say you have the pressure of the 200 and the pressure of the red ribbon. Why is that? Because they go short and their algos do too. So you have a lot of pressure. So you don't want to fight the tide. You don't want to go long when the market is coming down. You don't want to go short when the market is going up. Okay. You need to trade with the trend. And this is a very simple, very logical use of common sense and it works really well as long as you have a little bit of patience. Um, and patience meaning uh, you were in this trade from October 14th till November 9th, three weeks. If you, can, if you have that kind of patience, you can do this on the hourly. It's kind of fun to do because you get to monitor it every day. And if the ribbons are blue on any time frame, that means that the trend is going up. So let's say you wanted to do this on the 30 minute. No problem. You bought in right here at 241. You sold over in here at 270. You made a $30 gain off the 30 minute time frame. Let's say you want to do it off the five minute. No problem. Same thing. You come in over here, you bought in at 236. You stayed in all the way over until 279. 
you made another $40 profit off the five-minute chart. Who loves you, baby? <laughs>